Welcome back to Versus Live. I'm Ross Marion. I'm Corey Ballmeister. And we've got Rob in the booth say, now that Corey's not playing with Yori in this match, he's definitely going to lose, Rob. Now that Corey's not playing with Yori, he's definitely going to lose, Rob. Hey! He's Rob. right, though. <laughs> Rob will be taking all of your questions, comments, concerns, and burns in the chat. Make sure to tag at Star City Games so he can see them and send his favorites over to us. It is the final match of the day in our team-constructed battle. We started with Standard, moved on to Pioneer. Now we're in the oldest of the formats in Modern. As Corey said before the break, he's going to be on Jund Death Shadow. Yep. I'm going to be on Death and Taxes. One thing to note about my list, I'm playing two copies of Restoration Angel, where most lists play Archon of Emeria. I like to have a little bit of extra power, a little bit of extra pressure, yep. which is something that this deck can often struggle with. It's also a creature that survives a Lightning Bolt, which is a very common mm. removal spell these days. I like to have that. Archon of Emeria is a nice card. It, work, it works really well, but I, I, I like having Restoration Angel. Yeah, I'm uh, not a big fan of blinking permanents and bringing them back, but other than that, I mean, it seems like an okay <laughs> card, so... <laughs> you are a liar. I know, I know. Yeah, Restoration Angel it seems like an awesome addition. If you do that to your Skyclave Apparition, I think I'm just going to cry, it, so... It, it was pretty stock in list before Archon of Emeria. Yeah. Now that everybody's moved on to Archon, you actually saw lists move away from Flicker Wisp for a while. Uh, there's a you know, against Lava Dart and and yep. Red and Six, it can be a liability. But mm -hmm. to me, it's just one of the best cards in the entire deck. It just yeah. is so much, especially with Vile. Protecting your stuff. Yeah, I, I think that is uh, a card you can't really go away from. So. Yep. All right, so let's do some battling. Looks like you get to go first, since I destroyed you with that beautiful Fires deck. Yeah, just set everything up for me to be able to go first in Modern. I know, I know. With the marbles yeah. on the line. Okay. Ugh. How's your hand? Not good. <laughs> wow. Wow, not good, huh? Um, yeah, I just don't think I can keep a five lander. Yeah, I don't think you can either, but I'll definitely keep my hand. This is uh, pretty nice. And let me tell you, I have loved value decks in, in modern quite a bit lately. The Omnath uh, style decks. Um, I, I've been kind of a big fan of Scape Shift and stuff like that. But before that, Grixis Death Shadow and these kind of aggro decks have always kind of been my bread and butter. Um, and it, it feels good to be back on it because I do love playing these style of decks. Yeah, they're very fun decks to play because yep. you know, every game feels really close. Exactly. All your decisions matter, you know, which sometimes it's like, God dang it, I'm too stupid to play this deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, I should have shocked here, I shouldn't have shocked there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, this is a tough deck to play because you do attack me, so I have to, I have to hurt myself without hurting myself too much. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, mold to five last game, or we mold to five this game. We're not, we're not mulling to five this game. Okay. I think it's pretty obvious that we got rid of that. Okay. I'll lead on planes, go. Okay. <laughs> I will take four damage points, and I'll thought seize you. Yeah, that's what I was worried about with my last damn, but this yeah. one's not much better. <laughs> okay, let's see what I'm you I'm going to run you out of basics, so wow. I hope you draw them. <laughs> that is a lot of pass. Um, yeah, so do I care about Flicker Wisp at all, or do I just try to um, start getting rid of pass? Yeah, I'll just get rid of this path. Nope, you're getting this one. Uh, judge? Okay, pass to you. I don't even know what that's from. I don't, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> I don't want to look at it anymore. Yeah, wait till he sees the Restoration Angels. Yeah, there we go. Pass the turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's go with a uh, thoughts is targeting you. Okay, now you actually can cast it, but it's still not that big of a deal. So I'll still take a path. I will go to 14, and then I'll go to 13, and then I'll go to 11, <laughs> and I'll play a Death Shadow. You want me to search for another land while I'm at it? Um, so I definitely want red. I think I want Blood Crypt here. I don't Seems think that's sense. necessary, because okay. what I'm planning on doing here is just playing my Flicker Wisp, and I'm going to flicker up my own planes, ah, and then I'll be able to pass on Corey's turn yep, and okay. dime the mana. Check um, out. That said... If I do path on Corey's turn, I give him the option of just fatal pushing the Flicker Wisp if he has it without mm. any other way to turn on Revolt. That's true. So I and that, so then I have a decision. Options. Yeah, I don't like having options. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, 
I think it's so easy to turn on Revolt that that's probably the the least of my worries here. Yeah, I think I agree with you on that. So I'm going to make the play I described, play my planes. Okay. Flicker out one of my planes. It'll enter the re-enter the battlefield on my end step. Okay. Pass. Let you draw. I have a Bloodstain Mire. See, Corey just had the fetch land anyway. Yeah, I just drew it, but yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, and then I'll attack. I will pass your shadow. Okay. That is slightly awkward with the play. I think I want to make this turn. And I'm guessing we only have so what? Two basics, doing a quick basic check. So black or red, it doesn't truly matter that much right now. I will go for the mountain. And... Now the real question of what to do. Um, Four in hand or three? Four. This is pretty interesting. All right, let's go with Seal of Fire. Yep. <sighs> All right, and I'll seal you, and then I'm going to play this. Awkward, otherwise it just dies. So I'm going to go to 18. Your fetch is going to bring you to 10, probably 8, I would assume. Yeah, um, yeah 8 is kind of risky, but... Do you think it is needed? Yeah, we'll go to eight. Okay, so you're at eight, I'm at 18. You got Pass a two-two. to you. It's a lot of work for a two-two. Yeah. Okay, that's a neat draw. Uh, I will attack for three. Five. I will play a planes. I'm gonna play a flicker wisp. Okay. I'm gonna target the other flicker wisp. Okay. This is gonna come in on end step, mm -hmm. and I'm I can now I'm, I can essentially deny Corey a permanent on his turn. Yes, you can. And there are really only two options: it's either overgrown tomb or scourge of the skyclaves. Yep. Um, I could also flicker, re-flicker my own flicker wisp, and you know that would be good if Corey potentially had a blocker, but his deck doesn't really have flyers, so I don't think that's that's a good play. He also okay. doesn't have like a sorcery speed sweeper. That's another card that you know flickering your own flicker wisp could, could be good against. Okay. Um, I'm I'm generally inclined to hit the overgrown tomb because the scourge isn't a huge threat. He would have to de Corey would have to deal more damage to me, and I don't think he can afford to be that aggressive facing down lethal. Um, the other cool thing is if Corey wants to have access to this mana on my turn, he would have to shock down to three, and then both Flicker Wisps are lethal, mm -hmm. which I doubt he wants to have happen. Yeah, I'm starting to think I maybe took too aggressive of a line So I'm, I'm going to hit the Overgrown Tomb. Okay. Could also potentially stop oh, Tarmogoyf, but I think Corey would have played Seal Tarmogoyf last turn and just sealed my Flicker Wisp, and then with the plan to attack me with the Goyf mm -hmm. and then play the Scourge the next turn. So I don't think he has a Goyf in hand, but in case he draws right, one. Let's just get rid of those. Oh, just has a million removal spells. And attack for two. Uh, I go to 16. 16. This comes back, and I'll pass to you. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> God, I love modern. Every draw matters. <laughs> um, now, definitely still have options. Let's go with another one. Pass to you. Okay, I want to cut Corey off of green mana, okay. so I will... I'll add a block. That was smart, and maybe I back myself into a hole by doing that, but whatever. I'll get a planes, I'll play a vial. Okay. I'll pass the turn. All right, with that black mana, I'll take zero and dismember. Yes, and get I a 2-2. Saved, saved Corey a little bit of life, but I'm not sure how relevant that is. You're a gentleman. And I'm pretty dead. You are pretty dead. I'll play this and attack and then buy Lurus. Yeah, perfect draw. <laughs> perfect draw. I love, I love Salty Merriam. It's the best. So you take four, seven. five, six, seven. I'm at nine. You're at nine. The Skyclave is gigantic, and I'll pass to you. Yeah, I played a little aggressively with the seal, and I only had one bolt, and then I top back the second bolt for Flicker Wisp. 
and that got me out of it. But otherwise, I was just going to die to that flicker wisp if so I didn't cast like lightning bolt this member the last two turns. Yeah. <laughs> what of it? <laughs> okay. And Ross, top deck, Aether Vial on turn eight. Let's go. If that's another Aether Vial, we'll end the show right now. <laughs> um, Give me those marbles. Okay, I can conceivably still win, so I'll play Athelia. Okay. Yeah, that is decent. It's not really. I have to chump block. Yeah, but it, it stops the sweet play I had of Lura Seal. Um, so, yeah, okay. I will chump block and take three. Yep, okay. I guess now I have six. Lura Seal and pass to you. Oh, yes. Okay. So now I actually don't have outs because of the seal. I would imagine, yeah. Yeah. Play some bit Canyon Crack it. Okay. Yeah. I just have leaning over. Hey, 2-2, two, two, man. Not bad. Not bad. All right. All right. Yeah, I had just an excellent draw, you mulligan. My opener was just, you know, the classic two land, double thoughtsies, two Death Shadow-like creatures, and a removal spell. Yep. That's that's what we do. So. A little removal light, but then drew the removal you needed, and that was it. And that was it. So we are going to head to sideboarding here and see what we got for our last round for the marbles in modern. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to a Versus Live, where we are sideboarding in our matchup between Mono White Death and Taxes and Jund Death Shadow. On my side, Oriok Champion, the big winner from our Hello. sideboard, got the full four copies. Two copies of Winds of Abandon to get us some additional removal. I'm cutting Aether Vial in the heavy removal discard Coligan's Command to match up. Mm. Uh, just too much of a liability to draw later in the game. Uh, and, <laughs> and we know you're good at that. Yes. So. <laughs> and you know the, the additional tempo is nice. Obviously, like your best draws are draws that start with turn one Aether Vial, but it's just not worth it in a matchup like this where you can just strip my resources down to where I'm not even able to use it effectively. Yep. Because I'm cutting all the Aether Vials, Flickerus but gets significantly worse. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm trimming two of those to make room for the six cards I'm bringing in. Makes sense. So for my end, a little tougher. The only card I really didn't want was Croxa. I don't really fill my graveyard that effectively. Plus, you just have uh, all these Skyclaves to cleanly answer it. Also wanted to take out a couple of Swift Spears. I think it's my worst creature, uh, especially if you have something like this. You know, I mean, Death Shadow doesn't really attack through it that well either, but still not great. I'm leaving in one Teamer Battle Rage just to get you naturally with that uh, when I draw it. We're taking out one Inquisition and then bringing in the 3K returns for Oriac Champion. I gotta assume every white deck has three yeah. at least uh and then uh bringing in a couple of colons command thinking you know you wouldn't take vile out but still still good against like batter skull and honestly still not bad at just you know kill a creature return a creature or something you know so yeah not awful all right let's a uh, battle but first rob do you got any wise words from our lovely audience or unwise word we'll take those two um, yeah, Ross, since you're playing a Stoneforge deck, um, do you think it's worth having a sort of Feast and Famine with uh, Jun Death Shadow being, or, you know, just Death I, Shadow in general being a big part of the meta? I don't even think sort of Feast and Famine would be particularly good in this matchup. It's so slow and it gets broken up by removal. And if your goal is to avoid blockers, you already have Maul of the Skyclaves, which does that, you know, in a more mana efficient way. Yeah. Uh, so really just unnecessary for a matchup like this. You know? it's, it's weird to think a card that gives protection from two of the three cards as being bad, <laughs> but the straight up abilities of it just don't line up that well. Um, you know, I could see it being slightly better than Maul in this specific matchup, but definitely not in the grand scheme of modern as a whole. So I don't think it's worth the slot, but then again, it is only one slot, which isn't awful, but yeah. I'm also not a death shot or a death and taxes uh, player. So the, the key with sort of feast and famine is always going to be making use of untapping your lands. And yeah. that means a deck that has spells that are interacting on your opponent's turn. And death yeah. and taxes is the exact opposite of that. Van so. Stoneblade is one that is excellent at that, you know, yeah. equip untap Jace or equip, untap, have cryptic command yeah. man open. Like, yeah, that's the... the waddles on the end step. Exactly, yeah. yep. Totally agree there. Yeah, so, sort of question. Question. is secretly a blue card. It really is. It really is. A blue card that doesn't care about protection in green or black. You play it against decks that are usually not green and black, you know? Yeah. Except, like, maybe Amulet Titan. That's, that's, really that's, that's just a bonus when those things are relevant. Yep, agreed. Okay, I'm gonna keep my hand. Uh, Yeah, me too. It's a little awkward, but... I'll play a play in some pass. Okay. Uh, I have. That made it a little better. I will take two and Inquisition you. I think I know what you're going to take, though. <laughs> Depending on your hand, it could be a little different. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I mean, Oriok Champion is just so annoying. But 
all of those creatures are so annoying. That is the general idea. Yeah. God, that is close. That is close. Um. Yeah, we'll take Oriok Champion. I think that card is just too annoying. And then I'll pass to you. Okay, Keep now those up for me if yeah. you don't mind. I have an interesting decision on my turn as to which of these two drops I want to play. Mm -hmm. um, and the the deciding factor is going to be, you know, to, d to deal with either of them, Corey's going to need a piece of one mana removal. Yeah. Right? And if he has that, if he doesn't have that piece of one mana removal, I think I'm going to be in in pretty good shape with either of them. Mm -hmm. And it's more awkward for Corey to have to spend two mana to deal with the Thalia than one mana on Arbiter and then get to play something else for one mana afterwards, potentially. Um, the one card that would punish Thalia here is if Corey has fetch land Tarmogoyf. Um, but I'm still going to go with it. Field of Ruin Thalia. Okay. Uh, that was an awkward draw. Um... I'll take two, go to 16, and I'll pass to you. Speaking of awkward draws, <laughs> I will attack for two. I'll go to 14. I will play Sunbaked Canyon and Lean and Arbiter. Okay. Pass the turn. All right. End step. I'll take four and dismember. Yep. So that brings you to 10. Yep. I actually wanted you to attack with Thalia, so I didn't kill it right away. Um, no. Oh, Thoughtseize you? It's pretty good Thoughtseize. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Brings you to eight. Yep, and we got to do this now before you can fail to ruin me and pass to you. I take everything from you. It's pretty good. Uh oh. Play Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Yeah, that is pretty strong. Um, I guess this this is a situation where sort sort of feast of famine might be pretty good. <laughs> you. Idiot! Of course, Beast and Famine is good. Why didn't you know this? <laughs> Ideally, I'd be getting Batter Skull. The thing is, I don't. I don't think sort of Fire Dice will be good. If no. Corey took two damage purposefully, it means he has, you know, Death Shadow or Scourge in hand. Probably Shadow, since I'm at twenty. Um, you know, so yeah. I've got to assume that there's a Shadow coming, and in that case, I just want to get the Maul. Okay. So that's what I will do. Then I will play this other Sunbaked Canyon. Sure. And pass the turn. Okay. Probably a mistake to do that, just in case I have a uh, Scourge of the Skyclave, right? To do what now? To play that instead of your field, just because you go to 19 and I can actually cast that creature. Yeah. It, it's I, minor. I, but... I think you're going to play a Shadow this turn, so yeah. I don't think that's going to be the difference between you casting Scourge in two turns. Yeah, it's and incredibly if, if minor. I, if I draw, you know, White... Uh, it's, I was thinking there were... Yeah, if I draw White Source and... Oh, no, because I'm not going to have five. For some reason, I thought there was a chance if I drew White Source Oriok Champion, I couldn't cast both. Yeah, I'm going to oh, bobble you when you shuffle. Yeah, you if, get if I draw White Source Oriok Champion, then I'm going to be able to uh, play the champion and activate the Stoneforge with them all. Okay, that's fair. So I'm just bobbling you, and then I'm going to play Death Shadow, and uh, that's going to be it for me. Um, Would you like to draw first? No. Okay. Because if, if Corey were doing that, I, w I definitely wouldn't do this and let you play a Scourge that mm. turn. Uh, so you can see it. I'm, okay. I'm going to draw it. Okay, perfect. And then so I'll say go, and I'll draw. I'm at 19. Excellent draw for me. Uh, yeah, that'll play for me, too. Uh-oh. Uh, I will go to 18 and play a Skyclave Apparition. Okay. Exile the Shadow. Yep. <laughs> and... Oh, you'll get a 1-1 one, one when this dies, so I can yep. still attack freely. Okay. Yep. So I'm at 18. Uh, to 7. Yeah, 18 to 7. Pass the turn. Okay. Now I will cast Kozilex Return and get a 1-1 one, one and pass to you. Uh... Sacks on Big Canyon. Okay. 
play Field of Ruin. And you should be at 19 then, right? I'm at 18, actually. Okay, 18. 18 to 7, correct? Yes, that's okay. what I have. Um, and I'll pass the turn. Untap, upkeep. Yep. You, you can draw and then draw step. I'll field one of the blood crypts. Okay. Um, don't think I want to do anything about that. Pretty awkward drawing the mountain. Yeah. I was hoping you would just draw the swamp. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite that good, but still pretty strong. This does mean my ghost quarter is going to be nice. What? I mean, yeah. Dude, I totally agree. Um, okay. Then I'll tag you to 17. That is a true fact. Then I will play Nurturing Peachland and A Shadow of Death. Yep. And then I'll pass to you. So I'm at 17. The Shadow of Death. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. I'll play Giver of Runes. Okay. I'll go to 16 and play Skyclave Apparition. Ugh. I'll hit your shadow. Um, <clears throat> yep. And I'll pass the turn. Gazalek's return. <laughs> it's on. So, keep, I'll keep a 1-1. One, one. You're going to go to 6. Yep. Uh, I will then ghost quarter the peat land, cut you yeah. off green. You don't have green, yeah. Draw two Gazalek's returns. <laughs> I'd play three. Okay, I'll tag for one. I'm at 15. All right, and now... I drew a card, or do I want to just buy Luris here? I do have the bobble. So, yeah, that seems good. Pass to you. Six to 15, correct? Yes. Okay. So, Corey doesn't have any basics left in his deck. You don't know that. You have three in hand. Three in hand. Do I so I do this? Yeah. Either way, I, I if I want to sack Canyon. I can only play a one drop after field, so mm -hmm. really just a, another giver. If I were to draw it, if I sack Canyon while leaving field up, I could draw something like Oriok Champion. Um, God, I really want to field, but it, it doesn't take away any options for me to sack Canyon first. So let's do that. Okay. Since you must have a land there. Yeah, I drew a planes return, and now let's field the blood crypt. Okay. I'll get another planes. Sure. And I'll pass the turn. Yeah, drawing my mountain there has definitely been pretty brutal. That's a good draw. I'm pretty low on life, though, so it is kind of sketch, but Luris does help out the cause a little bit. So, yeah, I will sack. I think we'll get an overgrown tomb. Makes sense. So that's going to put you to three. Yep. I'll tag you for one. Play Luras. Play Bobo. I'm at 14. Are we going to pop the bobble or? Yeah, we'll pop the bobble and target you. And pass to you. Draw a card. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Do you want to search? I would not like to search. <laughs> Thank you. Pass that Luras. <laughs> yeah, enjoy your land. <laughs> um, so now I have enough mana to equip. I'd rather not lose Maul to a discard spell. Sure. So I'm just going to pull. Uh, but if, yeah, if you have K command, you just make me discard it anyway. Yeah. Um, so I think I will. Mm, this is tough. Specifically against K command. Like if yeah, you. K command, I could draw step, make you discard, blow up the Maul, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's kind of gas. Um, so if you had K Command right now, it would get really awkward. Um, it's a wild game. I love modern. Modern, these kind of games happen so often. It's just like, okay, it's all the draw steps. I mean, if you're going to, you, you've already used an Inquisition, so you're, you have a discard spell, it's going to be a Thought Seize. It's going to put you to one. <laughs> so I think I'll just pass. Okay, probably a good call. Oh, is that good? 13. Scourge. Oh, more than that, buddy. Your go. <laughs> more than that, fella. <laughs> you just keep drawing them. <laughs> go. Wow. Wow. This protects against good. the third K return. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, wow. Am I dead to... So you could put yourself to two. Yeah. So being 11, am I dead to the battle rage? Yeah, I've got to be. That's 22. Minus, yeah, that's already 19. I'll untap. <laughs> oh, boy. You can actually you can put yourself to two. That'll make this an 8-8. Eight, eight. Bobble you. See what you're drawing. Okay. Um, Probably just has the K command in hand. Are, are you slow rolling me? No. No, I am not. I'm trying to think what's my best way to attack. Isn't it with everything? <laughs> Seeing as nothing blocks? Um, I guess it, I mean, if you have K command, you can leave the illusion back. I guess you're thinking about if you draw it off this. Yeah. yeah so leave the illusion back, I think. That's what I think I'm going to do. Uh, so we've got, yeah. That shadow's got to be bigger, This right? is 10-10. This is 7-7. Seven, seven. You can deal yourself yeah. one. Yeah, block shadow. Take seven. Okay. So now I'm at six. Okay. Your things are gigantic. Fast to you, draw. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> yep. Gain one. Okay. I'm at seven. Yep. Attack for three. I will deal two damage to that, blow that and up, and block. I had it, but... <laughs> so you were slow rolling well, me. Well, I was thinking of how to make you attack the most, and... Uh, I'm going to attack every turn. Well. Every time. I'm literally <laughs> dead if I don't. I'm st and I'm certainly still dead to K-Command. <laughs> yeah, I've had K-Command since the... Since you were thinking about playing Maul, if you did, I had it then, and I was going to go upkeep. You would have drawn Oriok Champion, and I blow up Maul. You would have been like, come on. Yeah, this deck is gas. I've been drawing quite well, too. <laughs> well, the marbles shall be mine, but it looks like we have a pity game in, in, in our future. <laughs> oh, and if I played good. and if I played tighter and a little bit more conservatively in Sultai, I think I uh, maybe could have been sweeping you here. But then again, you would have got to go first in Pioneer, and that is a big deal, you know. So that would have changed the dynamic a little bit there too. But who knows? But... Who knows? Ugh. Good games though, holy cow! Yeah, you, just, you flooded close. a little bit. You mold both of the games, right? Like uh, just... I, kept, I kept seven in, in that game. My hand okay. wasn't great. It was four lands and three two drops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and my hand actually was pretty great against what you had. My opener was just like two lands, thoughtsies, two K returns, and uh, a Coligan's command. It was it was all spells. Like, I just didn't have a creature yet, and then just drew Death Shadow as my first one, but didn't even really want the Death Shadow. Being on the draw against you, I think just being the control deck to start is usually pretty decent. Cause so, so what you're telling me is in game one, you kept a removal light hand and drew removal, and in game two, you kept a creature light hand and drew a creature. Yeah, that's the synopsis of it, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is that good? Or... <laughs> All right, Rob, we'll take a question from you while we shuffle up for our pity game here. Don't really have one right now, but everyone was uh, pretty excited by the end of that game. All right. High fives. <laughs> Not everyone, though. <laughs> Low fives. Low fives. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, this hand's fine. <laughs> now you're just saying Jesus Christ when the, the hands are just actually okay? The, the, yeah, oh, the, the, oh, this, one, this one's actually just fine. It just <laughs> I just kind of know that I kind of... Like, I just feel what's going to happen. Oh, my hand's perfect, so I'll keep. <laughs> no, we don't give her. Okay. Pass the turn. All right. I have uh... turn one discard spell. Here's my hand. <laughs> I'll take a peek at it if you want to show me, but I do not have anything, so I will one play this perfect. and pass to you. I'll play a Thalia with my second plane. In response, I will sack this. I'm surprised you didn't try to get him with the, uh, you know, like, just kind of act like you have it, like the Vendillion click thing, where people oh, just lay their hands down. So you'd want me to scumbag Raz, huh? All right, I'm in. That's I'll what kill. you did. I mean, to be fair, you did. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, no, no, no. That was a strategic delay, okay? <laughs> like, actually, actually, you could have just draw step to destroy the mall, made me discard my, the card that you knew I was drawing. That I wasn't... knew you were drawing Arbiter, yeah. though. So you make me discard it. You destroy them all. I literally, I, I, you're at three, and your attack is lethal the next turn. Both but, creatures. But it's a lot cooler when you attack and lose your Oriok champion to a 1-1 one, one blue illusion. You so. literally just had it locked up. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, right. Let's go nurturing peatland and... 
pass to you. Yep. Okay, attack for two. Okay, I'll take it. 15. I will play Field of Ruin and Oriok Champion. Uh, whenever a creature comes into play, right? Yeah, another. Okay, sure. Pass the turn. End step, I'll take one and push this. You're 14. 14, on tap, draw. Um, and then I will take three down to 11. And you're at 21? I'm at, at 20. 20. Okay. Someone in chat said, why win when you can win more? <laughs> yeah, why win when you can <laughs> when you can dagger your opponent? Um, if you hit the green land, I probably actually want I have like stomping ground in here, probably. So it's pretty awkward here. I don't have that much red, so I guess it's not that awkward. I'm gonna actually get overgrown tomb. So you're at eleven. Yep. And then let's go with going to ten, playing three shadows. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that good. Um, it is close. Which ones I want to do though? I'm worried about a certain card, which you always have. Is that a Skyclave Apparition? <laughs> yes. All right. How I'll, did I know? I'll go like this. And fast shadows and a seal. Yeah, so I'm at 10. And you gain two. Yes, so I'm at 22. Okay. And you're 10. Um, this is literally another... Turn where stone where I wish I could get a sword. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? Twitch chat is right again. Shocker. Uh, that said, with the Oriok champion, the the sword is probably more more tempting than the uh, sword of fire than the, than the mall. Yeah. Okay. So I will get that. Okay. And oh, uh, is it? You do have the seal. So you can just yeah. seal the stone forge. I'm going to need another land. Um, yeah, still better. Okay, get right. sword, pass turn. So I want a mm, Cold no. return, huh? That, that, that's not it. Okay. I, I've got to get them all because you can have Goyf. Yeah, yep, yep. Pass Makes turn. sense. Okay. Um, I drew the basic. Cool, cool, cool. Um, then I will take a pain down a nine. Yep. I will play a Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf's fine. And I will attack. I will block one of them with Oriok. All right, so I, gain, uh, I, I should be at 24. One from Stoneforge and one from Goyf. Oh, yep. Uh, I will block a Death Shadow. Okay. I will pass the unblocked to Death Shadow. Okay. Okay. We have a land instant creature in... in Graveyards right now, so that sounds about right. Go if a three four. And and so I'm taking four from the shadow down to twenty. No, you blocked oh, no, right? you, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You blocked. Oh yeah, block pass. Yeah, 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 take nothing. Yeah. So you're twenty four, huh? Yeah. Okay. That's not great for me. Um then I will kill this and pass to you. So now we have enchantment. So four or five goif. Four or five goif. Interesting. Sky Club version. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gain one, hit the Goyf. Okay. So that puts me to 25. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the problem here is Corey is, is going to have Luris Seal. Um, that said, you can't do that next turn, even with the land. You can just go buy Luris, play Luris. Yeah. Hopefully, I can maul up the Skyclave before that happens, though th that would. Um, that would only buy me a turn. Or okay. it would play seal, then following turn, the next turn, sack it, replay it. Seems like I'm dying for Kozilek's return again. <laughs> so the, the question is, 
I th whether or not I want to trade like one damage for a little bit of damage here with me at 25, yeah. I kind of think I do because I think if I get this in for four next turn with the Maul, I can get a second four damage in and the Oriac Champion is the fifth point. Okay. Um, but though you do have Peatland if you do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually get in for the one. Okay, I'm at eight. Or oh, you were already at nine? I, I had you at 10. I had I had myself you at had nine. nine. I think you missed a Pete. Line. Okay, I, I yeah. missed that. If you're at nine, then I don't think I need to attack. Okay. Uh, so nine to 24. Yeah. Okay. It, it was a, a significant difference between nine and 10. Okay. I'm going to bobble myself to know if I want a Pete land. Yeah, if it's K return, you can just draw it and cast it. Or if it's uh, Inquisition of Kozilek, I probably want to draw it, huh? Oh, the <laughs> obvious batter skull was in my hand because yeah. I didn't find that off of Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, yeah. It's not great for me, but I just cannot beat the mall right now. So I'll pass to you and draw. Yeah. That's an excellent draw. Hmm. I will attack you for one. Eight. Just another one. I will play Flicker Wisp. Okay. Gain a life, go to 26. Okay. I will flicker the Skyclave Apparition. I get a 2-2. Two, two. You get a 2-2, two, two, and then I'll exile the Shadow, and I'll right. gain another life. Pretty so I'm rude. 20... I can probably gain another one from this. And the, and the Illusion, yeah. So I'm at 28. So 28 to 8, you have a 2-2. Two, two. Right. 26 to 8, all right. 20, 28 to 8. 28 to 8, correct. Yeah. Okay. Pass the turn. All right. Uh, my Kingdom for a Lex return still. All right, I am going to bobble myself, because if it's K return, I would much rather not play my cards. <laughs> it is not. Um, but I do think I need to be playing to the battlefield here. Instead of just getting Luris, so I'll play this, and pass to you and drop. Interesting. Uh, I, I gain a life off the go, sorry. Oh, yeah. 29. I will Field of Ruin your Overgrown Tomb. Okay, no, no more, more green basics. for me. I will get a Plains. Okay. I will play Stoneforge Mystic, gain a life, okay. go to 30. I will get the Sword of Fire and Ice that's in my deck. Okay. And then I will attack you for three. So 30 to five. Okay. Things are not going as well this game. And I'll pass the turn. All right. And I think I'm going to get my... How about a K command? Or a K return? <laughs> huh. Okay. This is now a five, five, six. We have artifact, enchantment, land, instant, creature, sorcery. So it's a six, seven. Yeah. I think we... Well, my hand is quite awful. <laughs> so I will pass to you. It's a large goy, but you know what? It's not doing much to your life total right now. That's an interesting draw. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I've, I've got to assume that there is a, uh, some, if there's not a, a K card in my future, you're dead. So I think I just want to play around those existing. It's probably smart. Um, I'm going to attack for three. Okay. No blocks. You take three, you go to two. Oh, well, hold on. Okay. I'm not blocking. I'll pass priority again. <laughs> Um, all right, I'll deal two damage and have you discard. Okay. Um, kind of figured you were going to do the sweet play of try to field my land in like your draw step. And then I was going to have to, like, you know, hit this so you couldn't put it into play or something. I thought that would have been a pretty nice play for you. Yeah, I wanted to make you go first. Sure. Um, that does make me go first, though. So th this is going to die. I'm going to lose one of my equipment, I assume. The question is which one. I think it's got to be the sword. Okay. 
Okay, Command kind of did. Uh, it's it's natural thing of destroy a creature and get rid of a field the blood crypt. Yeah, yeah, it kind of did it just with a less in a less tempo positive less way. Less cool ways. Yeah, your mono white LD deck is pretty cool. Got the planes and. Play a Thalia, gain a life. Okay. 31. Well, I won't be casting spells for a while. Pass the turn. All right, all right. This Tarmogoyf is really annoying, though. Yeah. And if, can I go to three life totals? I guess I can. <laughs> Your go. You know what else has not been great? My negative 10 tens I've been out of my hand. <laughs> so you're at three. Your go. <laughs> Yeah, My two mana negative ten, negative tens are not really holding up okay. to anything. Squire gain a life. Squire gain 32. a life. Okay, you're up. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess that may keep me alive. I'll pass to you. Lean and Arbiter. Okay. Thirty three. Yep. Pass the turn. I'm going to play this a little safe. Okay. As soon as I can beat one removal spell, I'll go for it. Okay. Last turn, I did not have it, but yeah, I, guess I assumed you were you were, but it, like, there's very little you can draw. Yeah. All right, go. Yeah, like you can't even sack that. You'd have to pay two, and then you can't cast spells. Yep. So the it's not it's not working out great for me. Oh. I'll, I'll tell you okay. that. Okay. I'll uh, path your Tarmogoyf. I grew it this time. Dang it! <laughs> All right, I'm dead. Um, I'm super dead. Yeah, you 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 fatal push this. You block oh, these yeah. two. You still take three. But I do get to get a creature. Yeah, so you fatal yeah. push this, you block these two, you still take three. Yeah, actually, you did need Path to keep you alive, or to kill me this turn. Uh, no, because you would have gone to two. I just so, would have never sacked this, right? Uh, well, but if I don't have a Path, then you can't fatal push the Apparition. I can. Uh, see, I can do first strike damage. I can have you kill but my then you illusion. But then you can't block with the illusion you get. Then I can't block with it. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Okay. Well, I can sack this, but I just but then don't then you go to two, two and, an right? e and an extra creature is lethal. Yeah, so you're right. That's the problem. Okay. Yeah, that game looked uh, pretty tough from the get-go, but honestly, you were, like, just so absolutely dead if I get uh, Kozilek's return. That card is good against you. Holy cow. Yeah, it's definitely very good. You yeah. know, you can try to play around it with the equipment in certain spots. Yeah, uh, but then you can lose to the Glyphs and the stuff, yeah, you know? Yeah, so. Giver, Giver of Runes lets you, you know, give Protolis when yeah. you need to. Uh, so there are certain things you can do, but yeah, Kozilek's return is excellent. Yeah, uh, and this it, matchup's close, and this matchup's cool, yeah. yeah. One of the big things, uh, you know, you see, uh, I think you see it in that game, is this deck's issue with closing games. Yeah. And it has that, that problem. That's why I like Restoration Angel. Uh, I, I've never been a big fan. There, there are Yorian lists of this deck. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. The green-white um, one, it top-aided the, yeah, the modern the, I mean, showcase. The, they're normally mono-white. Green-white is another variant of this deck that has existed for a while. Yeah. I actually I love that because I think Noble Hierarch is great in this deck. It helps you with pressure with your flyers. It helps you just you know get out faster. You are can you go just trying to make Gutshot good again? <laughs> are you trying to just encourage no, no. our audience I, to play Noble Hierarch? I, I love a Noble Hierarch all okay. the time anyway. Okay. That's, true. The, you That's know, true. Just curves like turn one Noble, turn two Arbiter, Ghost Quarter you, yeah. and you get to do that immediately, yeah. and then still have three mana the following turn is really nice. Um, and the, the mana base is now even more workable with Pathways. Like okay. that's a, that's a, you, you, you don't want to play Fetch Lands, obviously. Uh, so, so you play Temple Gardens and You pathways? play Temple Gardens and Razor Verge Thickets and Horizon Canopy is uh, okay. basically all the dual lands. Okay, okay. Uh, and like, you know, just enough basics for your, and, and you don't play Field of Rude usually in the multicolor decks. It's just Ghost Quarter. That makes sense. My issue with Yorian in these decks is that you, one, these ex accepted matchups like this, you really want Vile on turn one. Mm -hmm. And even in game one, you don't want Vile on turn one. And 80 cards means you just don't find it as often. You don't find your, like, Leon and Arbiters. Like, all those synergies just don't come yeah. together as often. It seems like a weird deck to have a Yorian deck, yeah. to be fair. But, yeah. but you do get to, you know, blink some things for value with, like, Skyclave Apparition. Blinking Maul to re-equip it is, is neat. Blinking Batter Skull to get a Flicker germ again. Flicker Wisp as a combo. Flicker Wisp as a combo, yeah. obviously. They play, like, a couple Charming Prints in that list, too. Honestly, like if I were playing that version, I would, and I was playing Mono White, I would be playing Thraven Inspector. This is another one drop. That You'd be is, playing your Time Spiral Remastered. Thraven oh, Inspectors, yes. right? Yeah, of course. So God, you know, I hope we get those to I, play on here. I think this I, specifically, might, right? That'd be so cool. Yeah. This specifically is like is a kind of matchup where I think the Yorian build is probably better. Yeah, uh, I would say the the sixty card lists are going to be better in the big mana matchups mm. like Tron, where you just really want that mana denial game plan to come online. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're close for me. I tend to lean towards sixty, but it's uh, certainly not a, a strong opinion that I hold. Yeah, yeah, no, and that's pretty crazy to me that you know this last top eight I saw a death and taxes list up there, but it was almost right away. 
when Cal Time came out that it seemed like Death and Taxes was just unbelievable. Um, you know, like Skyclave Apparition was kind of that push. Like, what makes it so the deck has kind of fallen out of favor? Well, it fell out of favor once the Uro decks got really well tuned, and they just kind of, they kind of took over things okay. with, with in modern. So you think they're poised to a comeback now that Uro's yes, gone? Yes, okay. that was one of the things. I think there's fewer red and sixes around, but the, the Uro decks had a lot deal. of those. That was one of the one of the points I made in, in the article a couple of weeks ago, which uh, you know you, you can still read it. It's still there, and mm. now probably not behind the paywall anymore. Nice. Um, so that that was one thing I noticed. I think you know there are a few more lava darts. I think those red decks are a little bit more popular relative to the Rakdos versions. Um, yeah, prowess decks are probably not your favorite, huh? Uh, Is that I mean, pretty bad? You still have just good removal for their creatures. You can, and like, if they're mana light, you, you can really mess with them. Yeah. Like, that's another matchup where, like, you, you kind of want to close because they have so much reach with all, the, with all the burn spells. But I would say it's similarly close to here, maybe a little bit worse because of the presence of Lava Dart. Okay. Um, and then they have K-Return, obviously, on the board as well. But they don't have anything like uh, Culligan's Command. They probably have, they have like, a Braid. Um, you know, for, for your equipment, your sword is way better in that matchup. You know, right. sort of fire and ice is awesome. Um, so yeah, like those those you know red matchups, I think are are fine matchups for you. I think you're very good against the big mana decks, which really mm. helps. And it's hot, like there's not really many decks that have that kind of spread where you're you're solid in in both ends of the spectrum, mm -hmm. and that's the advantage that Death and Taxes has on the metagame right now because you don't see as many of the blue decks. That's a great answer to me. So, uh, all right, everyone, that's going to do it for our uh, fun little standard Pioneer Modern show. Any big takeaway from the show outside of that? I mean, format's looking pretty sweet. I yeah. would say, you know... What's your favorite format so far, you think? I'm, I'm with you, the Pioneer. He's the talking same. to me dur during the breaks. So I think the, yeah. just the the variety that you see in that meta game right now is unparalleled. Mm -hmm. I think we're back in a, you know, a sweet spot with pioneer and yeah. all it took was, you know, really just eliminating 2020 from our collective memories. Yeah. And honestly, all the combo decks were just so fun, unfun to play against, you know, like, and they were not that fun to play. You know, I tried, I tried, oops, I tried, uh, inverters and they're not that fun. Inverter was kind of fun, but you know, they're really not great. And the only thing that I really hope happens in the future is that the league numbers reflect what I feel about the format, but so far they haven't. You look and you see like 1,300 player, active players in Modern, and it's still only like 350 in Pioneer. I'm like, I, I think people need to give that format another chance, because so yeah. many people have just been like, oh, Pioneer, I'm, I'm not playing that anymore. I'll play Historic. But I think it is a time to uh, change that opinion, because there is some pretty fun Get back in those course. Pioneer queues, everybody. You won't regret it. Yeah, I, maybe you should start a Pioneer Focus podcast. Potentially. <laughs> I'll, I'll, ro I'll run the idea by uh, my, my co-host, see if we there can rebrand to that. Smart, smart. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for our show. We're going to thank some subs, we're going to thank some sponsors, and then we're going to be out of here. All right, we had two today, Ragnar Forge and T. Ziegler. So thank you. For Ragnar Forge is a fellow Yorian yes. lover. Appreciate you. Thank you to uh, those subs for that support. <laughs> if you would like to support Star City Games in another way, you can join SCG Premium, $7.99 a month. will get you access to exclusive content from our fantastic staff of content creators and some other perks, which are 5% off of sealed product, 10% off of singles, and 15% off of supplies. So head on over to StarCityGames.com slash join dash premium and sign up today. Absolutely. And if you want to sit in these awesome chairs that we sit in every Tuesday and Thursday, you can by going to Carnox.com slash SCG and use that affiliate link to get yourself 10% off one of these awesome gaming chairs. And our final sponsor is Coalesce Apparel. If you like the shirts that we wear, you can find their entire collection of shirts, hoodies, and now stickers at coalesceapparel.shop. Be sure to use the gift code SCG when checking out to get 10% off of your purchase there as well. Absolutely. And if you're watching Cedric's stream yesterday, he was showing off some of the new hotness. This is one of them. I'm a fan of this. I just think it's hilarious. You, uh, you kill the beat with the electric Electronic DJ here, and then you bring it back, you know? So I, I, I think this shirt's pretty sweet. I also like that Atomic Blonde. Uh, the colors on them are, are really, really cool. So check those out. Also, we have the Time Spiral uh, remastered pre-orders are going on right now. If y'all haven't seen some of these um, cards, you must be, you must not have Twitter, first of all, because they've been <laughs> shared everywhere. They look awesome. Me and Ross are quite a big, uh, are quite big fans of some of these cards. Thraven Inspector, Dismember, I thought looked awesome. Yeah, the Bloodbird Elf 
looks really cool. Blood right up the abrupt decay. I want that abrupt decay in foil. That one looks nice. So there's a lot of really cool cards. Go ahead and check them out. And you can order them from Star City Games uh, and make it really convenient. You can go to starcitygames.com slash previews uh, to check in on that. And if you're looking to get a little bit of extra cash to buy some of those sweet Time Spiral remastered cards that everybody's talking about, you can sell the cards you're not using to SCG. It has never been easier. There's so many ways to do it. One, you can mail your cards in. Two, you can use the buy list on the website. Three, you can make an appointment and come into the store. And four, if your collection is big enough, Ross SCG, Merriam will come to you. Not me, yep. but someone from SCG <laughs> whose job it is to do those things yeah. because that is not my job. <laughs> I don't know what the cost of anything is. Same, same. Oh, yeah. It's it an Ezekiel chariot, uh, Michael. How much could it be? $5? Yeah, it got to be 100 I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm so bad with card prices <laughs> as well. But luckily, all our SCG employees here are very yeah, good. Yeah, they're incredible so, at it. Um, next up, everybody, if you haven't been seeing, we have the SCG Tour. It, SCG Tour Online is back. This is the road to Strixhaven now, so we're queuing for the next set championship. They've been running every weekend. Jeskai Cycling took it down last week. Just good old-fashioned. No changes. Jeskai cycling and it's one of those things we were talking about these metagame calls they can it can yeah. just get you and that's that's a deck that can even in a big event for the win. usually you think of those yeah. kinds of you know linear decks as not being as good in bigger events mm -hmm. but when they're powerful enough and the metagame's right they can do it exactly and two of them even made top four so a pretty sweet deck so if you want to play some of those they are running this weekend as well uh we have satellites going friday and saturday four on each days if you go four and two or better you qualify for the sunday's uh strix strix haven championship qualifier as well as five and one gets you one buy six and oh gets you two buys uh into this tournament they're really really fun you can go to www.starcitygames.com slash scg tour online for more information on that and our final point of order for the show is the Star City Games weekly sale. This week is going to be 15% off of all foil cards. So mm. we're getting shiny here at Star City Games. Ooh, getting flashy. Getting bright, really. You know, spring is coming in. The sun's coming out. Mm. SCG wanted to reflect that. So you yeah. can reflect it with your shiny foil cards. 15% off. That sale is going on right now. It's going to keep going until 10.59 a.m. Eastern time this coming Monday. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Got to love the sales that SCG runs every single single week. I love that we hang on to those and just give you some kind of perk every week. That's pretty cool. So, all right, everyone, that's going to do it for us. We will be back Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. The show is still pending. We got some ideas brewing to bring some fun stuff to all y'all's uh, TVs or monitors, but that's going to do it for us. So for Corey, Ross, and Rob, bye-bye.